is Invictus, Never Shall He Man the End, and my name is S. Rob. I'm just going to think here, a little thought experiment. What if aliens are already on the Earth? Now, I know we've been trained to think of this before, the idea there could be aliens and where are the aliens and all this sort of thing. Uh, but what if they're already here, okay? What if the aliens are already on the Earth? Now, again, we're taught to think, well, they're underground, and they'll be underground under the seas. It's quite possible. Yes, it's perfectly likely. And probably even that you have uh, underground facilities with aliens or, some, or something strange to us under, underground uh, and in the sea. Why not? We can't really live in the sea, so other entities, well, could. You know, two thirds of the Earth's surface is water, it would make sense. But what else is there, really? We've got to think about this logically. What else is there? Are there other things walking around? Because the thing is, the assumption always is, guess what, any intelligent life couldn't look at all like us. Why? The only intelligent life we can be absolutely certain that exists is us. And we're the best one in the world. We look like us, don't we? I mean, we look human. You know, we're human. So what happens if other things that are intelligent have to take the same line? What if they have to take the same line and they have to look human? What if most of the aliens look human? Now that's the thing, isn't it? That means that they're already here, or they could be. But the thing is though, how do we define that as alien? What if, effectively, they are human? See, think about this, is to be human a culture and a genetics, or is it where they come from originally? Because if they come from originally somewhere else, they are the alien. But what if they were born here, have the same genetics, and have the same culture because they've been brought up here? Are they still alien? See, I would say, in reality, that means no, they're not. You see, I would say if someone's got the same genetics as a human, or within, somewhere within that bounds, and they have, uh, you know, the culture of a human, and they've been here, then that means they're human. Now, that means we have to accept, we have to accept, that some of the humans walking around the Earth, maybe all of them the humans on the Earth, all of our civilization even, may not have came from here and yet she'll still be human and that means that we have to accept that other species may be looking at us and thinking oh this isn't a human or that that person there he's probably a pleiadian or he's a this or he's a nordic or whatever the other words they are he's a one of these ones and that that is what they will be saying, thinking of us that we could just be one of a many long line of lineages that basically are all the same now what do we do about that do we fearfully sort of box ourselves off? That's not a bad idea, because let's be honest, we are dangerous fucking creatures, aren't we, humans? We are dangerous and nasty. So maybe that's a good idea, but maybe it's not. What do we do, though? Does, do we embrace that thinking, well, that's good, because at least if the Earth dies off, we live on, because there'll be something else out there that is like us. But then we've got that problem of culture. How do we spread culture? Do we bother? See, if this has already happened, that means that human culture probably has spread everywhere else. It means that some of the music you've gotten, likely is not, some of it probably came from another world. Yeah, that means that, that Kate Bush album used to like may not have even been from here. Could have came from her brain from somewhere else. She could be from somewhere else. It means that, you know, you could be getting music that comes from Alpha Centauri. You know, reinterpreted by us. It could be that they're getting our film. You know, they get the Iron Man film. You know, that our books and things like that, like e-books that I've written, could be circulating and getting to these other planets. You know, maybe they put another word, or they just say, oh, this reading translator, they say, oh, this S. Rob guy, oh, yeah, he's from, he's from wherever, he's, he's from, uh, you know, Alpha Centauri, oh, he's from Mars guy, he's a Martian. You know. See, that's the thing, isn't it? So, in that case, where are the aliens? See, if they're all like us, then is there any aliens? Are we the aliens? Because we can't be our own aliens. That doesn't make any sense. We can't. We have to, by definition, always not be the aliens to us. So who are the aliens then? Who are the space aliens? Nobody. Could not be any. If they were literally all like us, then that's it. And they can contact each other freely, then there isn't any. We're basically one already. We're probably one before we're even born, before civilization even began. Well, this has been S. Rob. This is Invictus. Never shall humanity end.